I had two hard-boiled Easter eggs left in my refrigerator that still needed to be used up and I've been eating plenty of egg salads so that was out. I decided I'm going to chop those eggs up real fine and add them to some meatloaf. Now this is a spin-off of those eggs that are covered with ground beef, sometimes called scotch eggs. It's a little bit like that but I'm going to give this an Italian flair. So I've put two pounds of ground beef in my mixing bowl and I'm going to add a quarter cup of dried bread crumbs along with one uncooked egg that I've just beaten slightly. And to give it that Italian zing, I'm going to add half cup of marinara sauce. And once I have that in there, I'm going to just mix it all together just like you would a regular meatloaf. Now before I go any farther, of course, I have to add the hard cooked eggs. And you can see I've minced them up. They're just real fine. I use my pastry blender. If you have one of these, it's great for chopping eggs. Otherwise, just use a knife and that'll work great too. So I've lined a nine by 13 inch pan with some heavy duty aluminum foil. And I'm actually going to pat this meatloaf mixture into the pan to cover the bottom. Now just be sure to pat it into the pan so that it covers the entire bottom in a nice even layer. Once you have that done, take about one and a half cups of shredded mozzarella cheese and sprinkle it over the meat mixture. And on top of that, just about a tablespoon of some chopped fresh parsley. I like to use the flat leaf parsley. Now, at this point, I'm just going to lift it right out of the pan onto my work surface and then I'm going to roll it up and I'll use the foil to help me roll this meat mixture. Now if you have time, it's a little easier to roll once you have chilled it a little bit, but this one is going just fine. And then I'm going to let it drop right back into my 9 by 13 inch pan. There we go. Whoops, if it just comes apart a little bit, you can just kind of smoosh it back together. It's going to be covered with marinara sauce anyway. So a little bit of marinara sauce. I'm using one of my favorite jarred marinara sauces. And I'm going to bake it in a 350 degree oven for about half an hour. And then I'll pull it out and put about half cup more of mozzarella cheese over the top. Bake it for another 15 or 20 minutes and you will have a delicious Italian style meatloaf with some hard boiled eggs hidden on the inside. I'm Sue Doden and I'm all about food.